Hi, this is Charlie Jensen reporting for artjob.org, and I'm here today at my job at Arts for LA to talk to you about the process that uh, my supervisor, Danielle Brazel, executive director of Arts for LA, and I went through to bring us together um, into this collaboration. So Charlie, what were your goals in job searching? Well, uh, I was working part-time in a lot of different contracts when um, this opportunity came up and I was really interested in getting something that was full-time with benefits but still in the field that I was passionate about. I was also thinking about what I wanted for my future which is to be a stronger leader for the arts community and I know that I needed to work on advocacy experience, development experience, and I really wanted to be in a place that was sort of on the ground startup. So Danielle, what were your goals in hiring for this position? Well, I wanted someone who um, who brought to the table what we didn't have. So I wanted to hire to our weakness. Um, and for me, you know, writing is really difficult. I, you know, I'm, I'm very gregarious. I'm incredibly smart. I'm a generalist. You know, but I despise writing. And so um, I realized that I also I needed to to find someone who could who could really help us with that. Um, I was incredibly interested in um, someone who could manage a diverse portfolio. And I, I think what I was really interested in was somebody who didn't just want a job, but someone who wanted to make a difference in the field, who really wanted to contribute, who wanted to be part of a dynamic team, um, and that was ready for a challenge. I have two more points. Um, I needed someone who could fill a very big pair of shoes, um, which was the person who had the job before, who really helped grow the organization to, I think, the point um, when, when she transitioned. Um, but I also needed someone that could start immediately. So Charlie, tell me about how you prepared for the Arts for LA job. What I did was I, I looked at Arts for LA's website. I really wanted to understand what has been done, what your approach to advocacy was, and I wanted to get a sense of who the organization was collectively so I knew what I was stepping into. And so I would also knew what questions to ask you in the interview about um, how my experience would sort of fill gaps or build up the future. Um, I really studied the mission and vision and goals to understand where you saw yourself moving and tried to see how that lined up with some strategic plan goals. Um, I really thought the job was a long shot and um, I thought I had a good chance of getting an interview despite my distance but my best my goal really was just for you and I to talk and for you to know that I was out there and that I was interested in Arts for LA and that if this wasn't the right time for the two of us to, to work together that the future you know I, I hope that you would think of me again um, and then lastly before the interview I really sat down and I thought about things that were meaningful to me from my work experience, what I wanted moving forward for a job and who I wanted to work with and what kind of opportunities I wanted within the organization and I brought those to you in the interview. So Danielle, tell us about uh, your approach to the interview. Um, my, my, my process is I can pretty much see what I need to see on a resume. What I want, what I'm looking for is, is really personality, is thoughtfulness. Um, is there um, a good flow? Is there a sense of humor in there? Um, can I get a better sense of the person's work ethic? Um, kind of what makes them tick? Um, that, that's really what my objective um, for the interview was. And also, you know, because I'm, I'm looking for the best person for the job. That's my ultimate goal. And it's really hard to do um, with just a resume, um, you know, and a headshot. He didn't send a headshot. <laughs> One of the the things that made um, my interview process with Charlie stand out is that um, he was the only one that really did his homework on Arts for LA. That told me that number one, he was serious about um, this opportunity, um, that he was looking for the right opportunity to suit him so that it was, uh, uh, he was interviewing me as much as I was interviewing him. Um, it also gave me um, the confidence that he really looked at and understood, had the competency 
of understanding who we are, what we did, and, uh, and, and in relation to our new strategic plan. He, he really got it and he could speak to it. He could speak to some points that he would like to work on if he had the opportunity. And so that and the writing test and uh, you know the interview process uh, sealed the deal for me. So now we'd like to talk a little bit about why this process worked for both of us and why we're um, insanely happy that we get to work together now. Um, so I'll start. Um, for me, I, I feel like I totally knew what I was getting into um, in this organization. I knew what they were looking for. I knew what they needed. I knew how I fit into that plan. I understood um, who my supervisor was and how she um, related to her job and how she related to the philosophy of leading people and that was really important to me. Mm -hmm. um, and I also knew that this was an organization that was focused on the future and would be changing a lot and that was something that really, really appealed to me about it. Not just the mission and the vision, but um, I knew if I came into this job that in three years, five years, this job would be significantly different and that really excited me. Um, for me, um, you know, this process worked very well because it was, I think, honest. There were some pretty honest conversations. Um, uh, I think that um, he had a really good sense of what he was getting into and yet there was some flexibility in that based on whether or not we got um, some additional funding. Um, he was by far the best person for the job, although we had an incredibly strong pool of candidates, which I get to keep on file now. So everyone that I had a chance to meet with, um, I'll be able to possibly circle back. Um, and, and although he wasn't able to start immediately, he was absolutely worth the wait.